Sunroof by Nicky Yore and Daisy. It's a song I'm talking you through today. Before we crack on with this video though, if you could like and subscribe, that would help me up tremendously. And if you want the full notated sheet music for this song, I'll also leave a link in the description below. So I'm gonna go through the main sections up to speed so you can see and hear exactly what's being played and then we we'll break it down using on-screen notation. So again, you know exactly what is being played. So we've got this eight bar intro to start with. Have a listen to it first, it goes like this. Okay, so we're pretty much, apart from bars four, we have just got eight notes on the hi-hat. One, and two, and three, and four, and two and the four on the snare. One, and two, and three, and four, and. So the first three bars, we're gonna go three, and four, and. One, and two, and three, and four, and second bar. One, and two, and three, and four four and third bar one and two and three and four and now the fourth bar it does change we've got that snare in between beats three and four effectively so we're going to go one and two and three e and four and one and two and three e and four and one more time two three go one and two and three e and four and and then lines to the first or the three bars of the lines two it's the same one and and three and four and second bar one and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and and then we have one bars rest before we get to the chorus now one bars rest you just literally go one two three four and then you're into the chorus have a listen to the chorus goes like this okay so we're still playing eighth notes on the hi-hat snare drum is on the two and the four at least for the first three bars we have a crash with the snare on beats two of the first bar so the first bar slowly goes three and four and one and two and three and four and let's do it again two three four one and two and three and four and then the second bar goes one and two and three and four open the third bar goes one and two and three and four and now there's no kick on beat four so it might feel a little bit weird beat four or bar four goes sorry one and two and three e and four just like that intro really one and two and three e and four Four, and then it repeats that to make eight bars in total. So let's just do the four bars without stopping, nice and slow. Three and four and one and two and three and four and second bar one and two and three and four. Open hi hat, third bar and two and three and four and last bar one and two and three e and four like i said it does repeat that once you've done the chorus you go into the verse now have a listen to the verse it goes like Okay, so the first bar, we've got eight notes on the hi-hat. One, and two, and three, and four, and second bar's where the groove kicks in, but at the end of the bar. One, and two, and three, and four, 
and third bar. One and two and three and four. And last bar. One and two and three and four. And now this may cause some of you some problems if you're not used to opening the hi-hat because we're opening the hi-hat on the and of the three whilst our kick is going down. And four, and then you close it on the four. So the whole bar, one and two and three and four. And let's do it again. Two, three, go. One and two and three and four. And line two goes one and two and three and four. And second bar, one and two and three and four. And so that second bar's very similar to what we've just done, but with a kick at the end. The third bar, one and two and three and four. And the last bar, one, rest, three and four. And now on the three and four and we've got a little drag. Now for those that don't know what a drag is, it's where you've basically just, it is what it says on the side, you drag the stick and you buzz it. I mean, you really want to try and get two hits. So you get two hits and then follow it through with a bigger hit. If you do get more than two hits, it really doesn't matter, okay? It does not make the slightest bit of difference. And it doesn't matter what hand you go with first. So you could go left lead, or you could go right lead. In fact, as a rudiment and as a drummer, just as a, a practice exercise, it'd be good habit to go left to right, right to left, left to right, right to left, and just get used to playing that anyway, just to help build your coordination. But let's do that bar again. It goes high hat and kick, rest, drag, and four and and then that goes into the next section now the next section i want to talk about is the pre-chorus before the second chorus now there's not a huge amount going on but have a listen to it, it goes like this Okay, so the first bar on the hi-hat, one and two and three and four and the second bar, one and two and three, open four and third bar, one and two and three and four and in the last bar, one and two and three and four and so that might be a bit tricky, one and two and three e and four and you could use two hands if you wanted to one and two and three e and four and all hands to hand one hand after the other and then line two the first bar one and two and three and four and second bar one and two and three open four and last bar one and two and three and four and then one bar's rest before we go back into the chorus and then the chorus at the end of the song just loops itself around to a fade out so that is pretty much it so let me know your comments give me some feedback just enjoy playing drums to this track add your own drum feels and crashes once you once you know it and like i always say look, let me know your comments give me some feedback let me know what you're listening to and what you want me to have a listen and tackle on my channel next thanks for watching guys See you next time.